So guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new, do subscribe down below and let me know what you want to see next because today we're going to be talking about C1. The exam is this Wednesday, the Wednesday coming up and everyone in the comments of my last video was like, yo Dylan, I need some C1 tips. I'm kind of worried for the exam because obviously maths is a big thing and people are actually saying that they're going to end up like my friend Meshach. Now if you don't know Meshach, he's the guy that failed year 12, he's retaking it currently and for some reason he's been bunking the majority of his uh, lessons and it's almost getting kicked out but that's a whole nother series you can go check that out probably put it in the description so what happened today was I went to school obviously and I asked my friends to give you guys some C1 tips now all these guys are still doing A level maths so they obviously did something right last year and a lot of them are on track to get A's and B's this year so I would take a, a very close listen to what they say having said that some of them do give you pretty useless tips I'm, yeah, but anyway, let's roll that clip. So we just need some C1 advice. The exam's like next week, so what, what you got, Nathan? Okay, always remember plus C. Yeah, that's a shout out. Plus C. Plus C. Plus C. Can... Read the whole question before you start your answer. If you have supplementary paper, fill in all the boxes <laughs> at the top of each page. <laughs> well, what, what, what website is this? I want some, I want some personal advice. What's, what's like personal experience? And like, what's it taught you doing it last year? I got better in C2 than I did in C1. You're taking the C1 exam next week, yeah? What's your advice Got to everyone? Practice mental maths. Like yeah. Subtracting yeah, yeah, because you always don't have a calculator. Yeah. What's some more C2 advice after your mock results last time? Two minuses are a plus. Oh, nice. That's what I like to see. Cheers, Dan. Cheers. Now, don't start with me. I'm not I'm, look, listen, listen, you have bad things to say. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> he's, I just, not ready, he's not ready. <laughs> hey, yo, you're swearing aloud. No, no, this For C1! No, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy was. You want to swear for C1? <laughs> Bro, we just want some nice C2 advice. We all we need is some C1, C1, C1. C1. We just want some. Ooh, so obviously go check their Instagrams in the description, especially Shikan, who gave probably the worst tips out of everyone. He basically googled it, opened a PDF, and started reading it out when I asked for some personal, personal advice. Natan gave a good tip of always remember plus C though, because that's one mark that we always forget, and it could take you up to that next level, that next grade. So never ever forget that. Never ever. Ben gave a good tip in the sense that you just you need to be good at like mental maths for C1. I mean, this year I've used a calculator the whole time for like C3 and D1 and C4. I, I can't do mental maths anymore. That's the only problem with C1 if I was to retake it. I'm not retaking it. Probably should have done because it does get a lot easier. But just make sure you're sharp on that, like fractions and that sort of thing. Also, know a few proofs like Ben said as well because proofs can come up. And if they do come up, that's like four marks you could possibly lose out on. I'm going to remember the proofs for C2. So it probably is worth just having a rough idea of the first easy step so you can get a few marks for the proofs. And then my boy Dan came in with that. Two minuses is a plus. In the broader context of things, I think what he was trying to say is that don't mess up your signs. Because messing up your signs can literally just screw you over for the whole question and if you get the part A wrong you could get part B wrong and then you're going to lose a lot of marks and it, it, like I say it's the difference between a whole grade boundary because basically in maths the UMS is disproportional so essentially going from like 61 to 62 is worth more UMS than going from 1 to 2 kind of unfair because the smart people essentially look smarter and the dumb people look dumber but obviously you're not dumb if you're doing maths anyway but yeah, in the broader context, don't mess up your signs because silly mistakes can be the death of your paper, guys. Especially if you're doing binomial expansion because oh, I used to make so many mistakes in doing that and I still do now. And it's always because of like one stupid sign error. So make sure, guys, you don't do any sign errors and you like double check your workings out and make sure your workings is really clear because it honestly helps so much. Like, I'm a messy person. Like, when I write, it's all over the place. But if I write neat, I do so much better on like past papers and everything like that, just purely on the facts that if I make a mistake, when I read it through, it's so obvious, rather than all messy and I'm not looking over here or here or here. 
And also what I'm going to do is help you guys out. I'm going to leave a link in the description or go and check it out for yourselves on Maths and Physics Tutor C1 Cheat Sheet or Revision Sheet. Basically it's got a summary, three pages, possibly could be condensed into two of all the topics and all the chapters from C1. Now the thing about this is it's really good for like jogging your memory before you go into the exam or the night before. So I definitely say like save it to your computer or print it out because it honestly helped me out so much just having a cheat sheet to jog my memory. So type in Maths and Physics Tutor C1 Revision or C1 Revision Sheet, Cheat Sheet, whatever. Also, I've got a very good C2 sheet that I'll be bringing out very soon when it's time for the C2 exam. I'll be also doing an exam reaction to that. I would recommend faintly writing a formula on your hand if you always forget one and then rubbing it off just before you go into the exam and then you'll be remembering it and then just write it down on the front of your paper where your name is when you go into the exam and then by the end just cross it out. I mean, that's perfectly legal because you rub it out before you enter the exam hall and um, you cross it out before you leave, not that you have to because you're allowed to write on the front. If you saw my politics after it had been marked, I wrote so much stuff at the top of the paper then scribbled it out. My teacher was just like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's a smart thing to do. Also a key tip with the translations of graphs, if it's outside the bracket, the transformation, then it always affects the y-axis. If it's inside the bracket, then it affects the x-axis. That's always like a key tip that helped me remember what to do when I saw a transformation of graphs question. There you have it, guys. There have been some tips. Now, let's head on inside and see what the rest of the night has to offer. I think I'm just going to be doing some revision. But let's go. <sighs> Oof. But yeah guys, let me know if you did enjoy this video more than other videos I've done. I do like the style of vlog in the sense that like, I kind of talk to you, insert a clip, talk to you, insert a clip. So let me know how you found it today. I'll be bringing out plenty more videos, so do subscribe down below. And it looks like I'm going to be doing some more politics for the rest of the night. Or I'll probably just end up getting distracted editing this video like I did last time. But yeah, catch you again soon. Let me know if you found it useful. Let me know, especially how your C1 exam goes in the comments of this video when it happens. I'll try and bring out a video like an exam reaction or get my friends to tell you how they thought it went for them on the actual day. But as always, guys, thank you for the support. Honestly, it means a lot. And if anyone can make me a really cool channel art design, if I like it, you'll be featured. You'll be tagged in it. You know, all that good stuff. See you later, guys. Also guys, to end the vlog, I do want to say something quick about acne. So basically, these are the tablets that I take. As far as you have been asking, like, what, what do I take and is it working? I haven't noticed a huge difference. They have gone down a lot, but um, there's still a long way to go. Also, I read online that bio yogurt is meant to be amazing for clearing out your skin. So I'm going to try some of this as well. But yeah, I've got some bio yogurt. I'm going to hopefully go to the doctor soon and get some more tablets just because I'm still getting really bad outbreaks.